guys. So we made it to Denver and look how fucking busy it is in here. It was only like a three hour flight and uh, I'll just grab some coffee. But it feels really good to, uh, to be back here because I've not been here in like five months. So I've missed it. I'm really excited to explore. Um, I'll be here for like two weeks. So I think I'm gonna take you guys to like some of my favorite spots in Denver, favorite dispensaries and shit like that, so. Alrighty you guys, so it has been a few days since uh, we got to Denver off our flight. And yesterday we booked um, this hotel and we checked in and I thought it would be cool if I took a day out of this trip and showed you guys all my favorite Denver spots. So as most of you guys know, I lived here um, for almost two years. So <laughs> when I moved here, I, I knew no one. I had never been here before. And it gave me a lot of time to like explore and just like fuck around and see like cool things um, and like restaurants. And so yeah, we're about to go to one of my favorite restaurants. This might be like the best breakfast spot in Denver. Personally, it's my favorite that I've had um, and it's called One Fold. It's about nine minutes away. And as you guys can see, we're in downtown right now. This hotel is lit. We're on the 21st floor and this is called the goddamn, I forgot what it's called. I'll put it on the screen because I'll be checked out by the time you guys watch this. But I highly recommend staying here. As you guys can see, we have a dope ass view and we're right in the city and it's super pretty. Um, and we're staying here tonight as well. So yeah, we're about to go get some breakfast. Last night I got fucked up. <laughs> Um, there's a really cool bar slash pool hall down the street and I got some beers there and I had an espresso martini last night and it kind of fucked me up like I was on the toilet like all night. <laughs> Fast as fuck. Alrighty, you guys, so we are at One Fold. We ended up having to take two Ubers here because I went to the wrong one the first time and I was like, fuck. So we finally made it, and this is my absolute favorite. I get this every time. It's a smothered habanero bacon uh, breakfast burrito, and it's so fucking good. They're giant. Every time I eat this, I'm like full until practically dinner. And also get a Chagachino iced coffee. Alrighty, you guys, so we just left breakfast and now we are walking around. And the breakfast place happened to be really close to my old apartment. So this is, I'm gonna show you guys where I lived when I first moved here. So over here is the Coors baseball field which I never fucking went to because I don't give a shit about baseball. But right across the street, right here, is my uh, old apartment. So that's where I lived and I fucking, like I, I miss it, I do. It was a really good apartment and I had a lot of cool memories there. And right across the street in this building, there's this pizza place and uh, it's called Ian's Pizza. And I used to go there like every night when I was like super fucked up. I would just like go there at midnight and get a whole pizza. And it's actually really good. So if you guys are ever in town, I highly recommend going to Ian's Pizza. It's super fire. Alrighty, you guys. So we just pulled up to one of my favorite tattoo shops that I would come to all the time in Denver. And I got a lot of stuff done here. Um, I got this side. I got this wolf. I got this bat. Like I got a lot of tats at this place and yeah I'm gonna go get a tat if they can let me I don't know um, I didn't make an appointment but I'm hoping they can just like fit me in so you guys so it is um the next day this vlog is kind of all over the place but it's christmas eve and christian and i 
just went to motherfucking in and out I've missed eating in and out so much. Oh, I don't eat burgers a lot, but when I do, it's an in and out burger, bitch, because it's like the best. And um, yeah, we just did some shopping. I'll give you guys like a little mini haul here in a second, but we're gonna we're gonna eat this because I'm so hungry. Me too. And yeah, I cannot wait to eat this. Mm. So my in and out order is typically a double-double with only cheese and uh, spread. So, mm. Yesterday I got the tattoo and if you don't know what the reference is, it's from American Psycho. I've been like obsessed with that movie recently. And there's this scene where he's like about to go on a rampage and he's at an ATM and there's a stray cat. And he looks at the ATM and it says, feed me a stray cat. So he picks up the cat and is gonna like shoot it and like feed it to the ATM, but he doesn't. You just have to like watch the movie. I'm sure most of you guys have seen it. It's been out for so long, but. That's the meaning behind my tattoo. So I'm definitely trying to like fill my legs up. So I'm gonna give you guys a little haul because I just went um, and did some shopping. So Christmas is tomorrow and I got Christian's mom some Chanel blush. I've never bought Chanel in my life and it wasn't like super expensive. But I just thought I'd get something nice for her. Um, she just like recently graduated. Yeah, she's a doctor now. So I thought I'd get her some Chanel. I lucky wanted to keep this for myself. It's blush and I don't think it's like, I like the little compact, like classy looking like things it comes in, you know? So yeah, I got that for her. And then for myself, I got this badass fucking shirt. Look at this. It like cuts halfway down like the pattern ends. I look so fucking good in it too. I tried it on and I was like, damn. So I got that. And I also recently got this turtleneck and it's from the same brand. It's called Murano, Moreno. I don't know, you can find it in Dillard's. But they have really good clothes. So I'm really happy with that. So that's what I've bought today. I also got some new pants, but. I don't really think he'll give a shit about my pants, so. My hair looks crazy. All right, you guys, so we are at Red Rocks. And unfortunately, like, the whole top of it's, like, closed, so. Yeah, we're just kind of chilling here. It's fun, though. I've not been here in, like, I don't know the last time I was here, but I've never been to a concert here, and I really want to. I was supposed to see Suicide Boys, but <clears throat> I didn't get to go. But, yeah, it's really pretty. It's a really nice day. As you guys can see, that's the venue. Yeah, Christian saw Tyler the Creator here once, which is cool. Good. I've never seen Tyler, but I really want to. I had tickets to go see him, but I, I also didn't go to that concert. The amount of concert tickets I've bought and then not gone to is like insane. Cause like, I get like last minute anxiety and I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna stay the fuck home. <laughs> All right, you guys. So we just pulled up to my favorite dispensary. It's called Crystal Leaves in Denver. And this is like literally the only dispensary I would go to when I lived here. It's like 10 minutes from downtown, but it's worth the drive. And their weed's super good, dabs are good. And I figured if I was gonna show you guys my favorite places in Denver, I like have to show you this. So it's like the best dispensary. So if you're in town, you want weed, this is where I would come. So let's go in. All right, y'all, so I just left Crystal Leaves and I got some dabs. I'm super excited about this. So this is called Galleon Delice, Delice, whatever the fuck. It was actually pretty cheap. It's a gram of live resin and I was gonna get flour, but this is my last day in Denver tomorrow. Um, I'm flying back home. So I just grabbed this. It looks like a nice little booger of wax. It smells really fucking good. It's 78% uh, THC. So I got this because <clears throat> I have these fucking Ooze Life pins um, that I have to make a video with for my Bentley Blaze channel. It's like a sponsored thing. And yeah, I just needed something that I could take 
and put in there and smoke. So I grabbed this. Their flower is like amazing. That's what I would recommend going and getting if you're gonna get anything, but the wax is super fire too. So yeah, you guys, that's that. And this was literally $15 for this gram of wax. And that's a really good fucking deal. I thought I was gonna pay like 40 bucks or something. So yeah, you guys, the trip, my Denver trip's pretty much over. And I'm glad I got to show you my favorite dispensary before I left. Um, so yeah, my hair looks way too fucking tall and bouncy and shit. I don't know. Like, going through the awkward stage and growing it out is such a pain in the ass. Because I want to cut it right now. But I'm not going to, so.